holes. So as far as like cutting techniques, I have bear paw gorilla hands, so I just kind of muscle through it, whatever. Every so often you'll get a pair of shears that's just a metal line. And then all the force exerted, especially if you get into like 10, 12 ounce leather, it just gets way harder on your hands. So you'll see me switch to this, to this, and I'll just use that round because it's just so much more comfortable on the hand. Well, it's kind of funny, it actually just looks like an animal that thought it knew how to use scissors and then just kept going. <laughs> Any advice on shears? On shears, yes. Um, I can't mention the brands, but there's some really good ones at department stores that are very thick, uh, as also very precise. This travels as opposed to the X-Acto knife. And again, if you want to use an X-Acto knife, that's totally cool. Um, I go through it from almost like a, not only an artistic, but a business standpoint because my time is so valuable uh, with not having a ton of it, but uh, they have right angles, which means they interlap and interlock. Uh, 